Welcome to the next installment of our Pro Tips series on how to read and interpret a Siemens Environmental Product Declaration, or EPD for short, since the documentation follows the ISO International Standard 14021, your learnings can be utilized for any EPD under the ISO 14021 standard. This how-to video exemplifies a cradle-to-grave environmental product declaration, which quantifies the environmental impact of a product or service throughout its life cycle, from manufacturing to usage to the final recycling of the product. The aim of an EPD is to stimulate environmental improvements in production, processes, and products. Therefore, it is essential to communicate verifiable and accurate information covering a wide range of topics on environmental aspects, including global warming potential, resource usage, and toxicity. Developing an EPD involves a comprehensive life cycle assessment, LCA, of a product or service. International standards aim to harmonize how assessments are made and environmental claims are prepared, leading to accurate and verifiable statements which reduce or eliminate misleading claims and marketplace confusion. Siemens publishes self-declared environmental type 2 claims for its products and services as per international standard ISO 14021. Let's take a look at the different parameters influencing the result, such as energy mix, sourcing strategy, and differing programs. On the cover page, you will see not only the product name and QR code to the product's web page, but you will also see the ISO standard under which the EPD was produced. All published standards used when creating this EPD are found in the general information section and assure the accuracy of the statements. The reference product considered in the analysis provides detailed information including the ratings, typicals, and life expectancy. In this section, you see Siemens products fully comply with all applicable substance restrictions and regulations. An overview of the materials of the primary part of the reference switchgear is provided in the materials composition section. Additionally, the total product weight, including packing materials, is also documented. In this section, the three life cycle stages of our products are depicted, manufacturing, operations including distribution to our customer, and finally the end of life stage. For locations where the electricity grid mix used is known, for example green electricity utilized at Siemens manufacturing locations, specific values are used. Otherwise, an average mix is used for calculating the life cycle assessment. For logistics, we use location-specific values and use standardized values from EN5693 only when specific data is not available. Influencing parameters, such as lifetime and load rate, are given in the scenario description. Finally, the EPD provides an overview of various key environmental parameters including CO2 footprint that are influenced by the switchgear during its life cycle. Since the underlying assumptions may vary from vendor to vendor, it is critical to understand these differences when analyzing EPDs across manufacturers. Siemens has chosen operating assumptions based on decades of experience across a diverse global footprint, including a 35% load rate, an equipment lifetime of 40 years, an electricity grid mix as per EU28, a 0.1% per year leakage per standard IEC 62271-1. It is important to note that the SF6 leakage from Siemens GIS is significantly lower than this standard value. Detailed results of all relevant environmental indicators according to ISO 14044, as well as their detailed description are given for each life cycle phase in the table of key environmental indicators. Now, we present the global warming potential over the complete life cycle of a typical SF6 gas insulated switchgear, separated into three phases manufacturing, operations, and end of life, and then split into five components, materials, SF6 production, SF6 leakage, energy losses, and recycling. Customers can use the chart to see how their decisions can directly influence their own CO2 footprint. For example, using renewable electricity reduces the impact of joule losses to virtually zero. Please remember that the underlying assumptions previously mentioned directly influence this overview of the global warming potential over the lifetime of the product. This final section provides details on the recyclability of our products, giving the end-user direction on how their original investment can contribute to a circular economy. If you like this instructional video on Siemens EPDs, 
Please sign up for Siemens Sustainability Stories to receive additional information how electrification and automation products can help you to reach your sustainability targets.